Hello everybody, welcome back to Exanima. Alright, so if you'll recall last time we got the shit beat out of us by these armor golem things. And according to some of our viewers, they the golems themselves are kind of broken in a way that apparently if you crouch and fight them it gives you a significant advantage. I don't know why, but we're gonna try it and see what happens. Uh, I just gotta remember where the hell I am. Oh, okay, now I know. I just picked up my torch and sword. Go back this way. I mean, I'm not, I'm not thrilled about fighting them again, but I do want to see if there's any truth to what people are telling me. So we're gonna check it out. Okay, so we're looking for the room with. Oh well, that's not what I was expecting. Whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna go into crouch. Or I was going to try. Okay, so I'm crouching right now. And I'm going to... Crab walk up to him. I'm going to stay crouched, and I'm going to keep using an overhead attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I am the greatest. My combat skills are unmatched. You cannot defeat me. You cannot even hope to defeat me. Okay, so this is pathetic. Am I even... Am I even doing damage? Or do I need to switch to, like, my two-handed sword? Oh, shit. That's probably not good. Come here, you bastard. <laughs> this is so weird. Come here! Damn it! Look at this bastard running away from me, that's right. That's right, you know what the fuck is up. Yeah, keep backing up, you piece of shit. This is so stupid. <laughs> Damn it, I really need to switch. Oh, what? What is going on here? I'm trying... Oh, I don't know. Okay, that's not, that's not working. I gotta get right up against him and then... Ow. And then kneel, I get or crouch. As usual, I can't get away and switch my weapon. Oh god, whatever. Alright, let's try, well, yeah, the halberd, let's try that. Alright. Oh, I got your foot, you bitch. Yeah, when you see me creeping up on you, you know it's over, you golem son of a bitch. I just want to get him trapped in the corner, and it's not working. <laughs> this is stupid. Oh my god. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but y'all should not have suggested that I do this. But you did, so you're gonna live with it. Will you just get trapped in a fucking corner? My god, this is irritating. Yeah, it's nearly impossible for me to catch up to him and hit him when I'm in this ridiculous fucking crab lock here. I think we finally landed a hit that time. I think we got... no! I cannot get him pressed into the corner for some reason. Ah, come on! How many times do I gotta hit this bastard? Halbert's like stuck in between my. What the hell is going on? <laughs> God damn it, this is making me so angry. 
I've had it. I'm gonna stand up and let him kill me. I'm just I'm tired of this. This is stupid. Oh shit. Oh shit! Oh shit, we beat him. You know what that means? I'm gonna pick this bullshit up. An enormous halberd made from solid. It is too big and heavy to wield as a weapon. Oh, what a bunch of crap. I can't use it? The fuck is this? A crystal emitting an intense blue glow. Is that some new kind of health thing? Or something? I don't fucking know. Alright, holy crap, ladies and gentlemen. We took down a golem, even though it was like the stupidest battle I've ever seen in my life. Alright, let's get back to the torch. And I don't remember how I got here. I don't know where the hell we are now. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. I don't even know where that particular golem came from. I don't think I was in the room I thought I was in when that shit started. Alright, let's just let's go this way. Okay, this is the wagon room with the... Yeah, I've already been here. Did I just come from this room? No, but it's still pointless. That was the room where I beat the golem, alright. So I guess we gotta go this way. I think. Yeah, what's up here? Ooh, shit. Was this the room where that golem came to life? I think it was. Yeah, I don't want to trigger that other one yet. Let's see. I still want to find the original room with the two golems that attacked me. But I can't... Is that even a room? No, it's an alcove. No wonder. I was like, why will this not like light up so I can fucking see it? Okay, here's this piece of shit room. Okay, folks, I know, I know, you're thinking, don't do the crouch thing again, it's so boring, but guess what? I'm gonna do it. Sorry. Alright, so we're gonna approach this way, and hopefully he'll get stuck. And he did not get stuck. Why will you not attack? There we go. Maybe we can... Got to get him up against the wall or something, otherwise we're never, ever, ever going to land a single hit. There we go. Oh, no, this is not going to work out, is it? And I'm only doing overheads because I think the regular swings are just going to hit the ground. Like so. Oh, no, maybe not. I mean, obviously hitting their legs is not going to do much in the way of damage, but... Stupid. <laughs> and yet, I mean, this is not I, this is not how it was intended to be. It's it's like a it's not really a glitch. I guess it's kind of a bug. But yeah, the golems don't know how to react appropriately when you crouch down. So that's what's going on. This dude's pissing me off. I just want to swing at him, take his feet off. Yeah, see, my halberd keeps getting stuck on the ground. I wonder if the two-handed sword would have been a better idea. It's much faster. It probably would have been a better idea. And they can block this pretty easily, I think. Okay, let's switch to this one, then. Or not. We'll go back. By the end of this, man... My hand's gonna be killing me from holding down C this whole damn time. It would be nice if you could just toggle the crouch. I don't know why I have to keep holding it. Whatever. <laughs> this is so stupid. Ah. Uh, all right, let's stay crouched and try and. Oh, that's what I get for trying to switch to the sword. Luckily, we're going to be in the same room. We're almost dead now, of course, but... 
what else is new, right? So let's see if this is... No, it's not a health thing. Can I, I can't equip it or anything? No. Alright, so we're about to die. And quite frankly, it'll be a relief from this hellish existence I'm leading here. <laughs> okay, let's try this with the sword this time. This probably isn't even hurting him until he comes to life. So I'm going to stand up. Hey, wake up, man. Wake up. Are you there? He's not going to wake up until I touch him, I guess. And even then. There we go. I'm trying to get him stuck in this alcove. But it's not going to work. It didn't work. Surprisingly agile for a... for a walking suit of armor. I wonder if I can swing this more effectively than the halberd. Nope, it still hit the damn floor. I should have just kept exploring and should have just ignored these guys. This whole crouch fighting thing is so fucking irritating. stupid. Alright, time to die. I don't care anymore. How did I even fall? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna fight him with that crouch bullshit. I'd rather just die. It's that the whole crouch thing is just way too fucking annoying. All right, so let's just try and explore a little bit. Try not to wake these bastards up. Let's just try and explore a little before we die. But I'm probably gonna wake them up right here. I'm trying to get my sword. Come on, just walk around the fucking pillar. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. All right. Here's this damn spider bullshit again. Oh hell. Let's just, let's get stuck on another random pillar. I think that's the plan. Let's see what we got over in this area. Can we open this shit? Guess not. Okay. Alright, let's see what we got on this side of the complex. Okay, that's that's an open door. That's a good sign. But I'll just close it on myself. Okay. What do we have here? Jack shit. And what about this? Oh god. Always got a face plant. And jack shit. Oh come on, man, for real? At least my legs are all sparkly with that chainmail, I like that. Looking fancy up in this bitch. Let's see what we got here, nothing. Just some kind of weird communal waiting room, I guess. And, or is it some kind of like, uh, what the hell would this be? Ooh, shit. It's a pretty nice looking battle axe. Pick that up and add it to the stockpile for no particular reason. And how about over here? Is this like a library with some study rooms or something? Oh, god damn it. I don't know, but I, I get an... No matter where I go, either in the regular dungeon or down here past the portal, I get... I get the sensation that there was a lot of bureaucracy in this particular culture. 
So a lot of these rooms seem like little bureaucratic offices where all you you know go through all these little unnecessary and redundant steps to get things done. I don't know, it's just what it seems like. Okay, so what's going on in here? No loot containers? Nope. Same old nothing. Alright. Let's go this way now. Yes, he looks like another place just for lots of people to sit around and wait. Ah, uh, what do we have here? Some lore. Just what I wanted. These golems have proven an impassable barrier for me. I must turn back. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And yet I sent something from them. Blah, blah, blah. There's probably corpses in them. Whatever. What if all that I see here is explained by the harvesting souls as a source of power? Is this like a the soul of that golem that was animating him, maybe? Hmm. Let's see what we've got here. I feel almost certain that Spellgiver and Corruptor are one and the same, condemned for blah. Blah, blah, blah. I don't... Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with that shit. Ooh, what do we have here? A Warhammer that I don't care about? Hey, shit! There's the shield token. I wonder if that'll make those bastards leave me alone. Hmm. We might test that theory if we can ever find that place again. <laughs> Which is unlikely. Well, maybe not. I think I could... I could probably find my way back, but... I don't know. We'll wait and see. Okay, I don't think I went to... Here, did I? I don't remember. And what was that sound I heard? It kind of sounded like somebody slamming a door, and that fucking kind of freaks me out. Oh, that was just me hitting the door. Okay. Alright, so let's work our way back now. Well, first, of course, let's just get completely paralyzed and stuck on a door for some reason. And a pillar while we're at it. Alright, we could go that way, but first. So, I have a spider token, there's a spider. Is that going to stop these bitches from coming to life? Seems like it. And now, here's the room with the shield, and these are the assholes that always come to life to kill me. I've got a shield token. Does that mean they're going to leave me alone? No, it doesn't! So, what the fuck is the point of the token? I don't get it. I'm going to try and open this door without getting killed. I'm going to try and shut it. That's not going to work. Damn, their footsteps are loud as shit. Well, alright, this is... This is fun. <laughs> it's real fun running from these dudes all the time. Now, what is this? There's an eyeball. Hey, let's get some more golems in here. Why not four? Oh, hell, who is that? Whoa! Don't mind us, we're just doing a marathon trying to raise some money. Oh, hell, that's not good. I'm hoping they'll hit each other, but they're never even going to take a swing. Which is, oh, Jesus. I am leading a mighty procession. <laughs> oh, we're dead. <gasps> yep. <laughs> I had to try it. What else am I going to do? I should have tried to shut that door on him. Damn it. Open this shit. Close it. 
Oh, I was going to say that's awesome until these other golems came after me. Oh, just kill me. Just fucking kill me. I've had it. I have fucking had it. Hurry up and put an end to this. Don't make me suffer. Just do it. Yeah, it's really a simple, a simple thing. Hello, golem. Kill me, please. And yet, they gotta make it, they gotta just draw it out. <laughs> Every single time. Weren't they already following me? That's another shield. What the hell? Oh, Jesus. Okay, we finally got knocked out again. That's great. All right. Well, folks, as fun as it is fighting enemies that I can't really kill, except, you know, with divine intervention, uh, and as fun as it is running around this fucking level with, like, five golems behind me, unfortunately, we're done for the day. So the excitement's going to have to wait for a little while longer. Anyway, thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate it. Please hit the like button if you enjoy this series. And we'll see you next time for some more serious bullshit in Xanima.